Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make chocolate pudding. Mm, yummy. I love homemade chocolate pudding. This recipe comes from Hershey's. It's creamy, it's really quick and easy to make. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, I'll list all the ingredients and their amounts. We start with a medium sauce pot, and we are gonna add 2 3rd cup of sugar, 1 4th cup of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of cornstarch, that's gonna thicken it up, 1 4th teaspoon of salt. And then with the whisk, let's come in here and whisk this all together. You could also just sift these ingredients all together as well. And then let's take our two and one fourth cups of cold milk. Slowly mix it in a little bit at a time with a spoon. Come back in here with a whisk. Ready to go. Take this over to the stove top and let's go from there. And then on the stove top, we have our burner set to medium heat and we're just gonna stir constantly until the mixture boils and then we'll let it boil for one minute and then take it off the heat. Just be patient with it. It'll take probably 10 to 15 minutes for the mixture to start to boil. And eventually you'll feel the liquid starting to get more and more thick. Probably a couple more minutes before it will be ready. And eventually it'll start to bubble like that. And we'll just keep stirring for one minute and it'll be nice and thick. All right, once our minute is done, let's take it off the heat. Once we take it off the heat, we want to put in our butter and also our vanilla extract. And then we will stir until the butter is nice and melted. Once our butter is all incorporated and melted, we want to transfer this into our containers. I don't recommend trying to pour it out of the pots in there, you can take like a ladle. You can use that spoon or just take a ladle and ladle the pudding in. Nice and creamy pudding, look at that. And now we want to chill this for an hour or two and in, in order to prevent it from forming like a little skin on top, We'll take some plastic wrap, and we'll put it right on top, and then we're gonna just push it down over the pudding. And set this in the fridge and let it chill. It's been a couple hours, the pudding has chilled. I wanna take off that plastic wrap. The plastic doesn't really stick at all to the pudding, which is pretty nice. And come in here show you what it looks like. Nice, creamy, silky smooth chocolate pudding. All right, the homemade chocolate pudding is done. Turned out fantastic. I'll be honest, I don't mind the instant pudding that you get from the store, but the homemade chocolate pudding is to die for. Super yummy and really easy to make. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm.